Hi and welcome. In this lesson, we'll explain about the buzzer. Now, previously we explained about passive buzzer, but this one is different. This one is an active buzzer. An active buzzer can be controlled by just giving a voltage into the pins right here or into the signal, and that way create a buzzing noise. Now, you will see that it says remove seal before using. The reason is because we want to protect the buzzer. We can take the pin out right now and take a look closer at the buzzer. We can see that the positive side is right here. Now, if we turn the buzzer around, we can see that it has three pins. One is signal, one is VCC, and one is GND. We will use the three pins in order to control the buzzer and send buzzing nodes using the GPIO. Now, let's move into the schematic and see how can we connect the buzzer into our microcontroller. So now, once we understand how the buzzer works, it's time to see how can we connect it into our Arduino device. First, as we discussed, we have the buzzer right here. <coughs> Let's take a look. We have the signal pin, we have the VCC pin, and we have the GND pin. Total three pins. Now, the GND, if we pick up the Arduino device right here, we can see that the GND goes to GND, and the VCC goes into five volt. And the data pin goes to signal digital pin number seven right here. Here we have the analog pins and here we have the digital pin. It's important that you connect it to the right pin, which in our example we use pin number seven right here. This is how we connect it into the Arduino D. And now when we are ready, let's move to the Arduino D IDE to see how can we actually program the device and make it work. Now when we are inside the Arduino IDE, let's see how we can get the buzzer to work. As we've discussed earlier, we have the buzzer connected right here. The signal is connected to pin number 7, then VCC and GND. Now let's take a look at the code to see what's actually going on. First we define buzzer pin as pin number 7. Then in the setup function we define pin mode buzzer pin as output. As we've discussed, the buzzer is an output device, not an input device. Then inside the loop we set the digital write into buzzer pin high, which means close the buzzer and then we wait one second and then we turn the buzzer on and then wait one second more. Now what does it actually mean? It means we turn off the buzzer, wait one second and turn on the buzzer again and wait one second and then repeat it in a loop. This makes a buzzing noise kind of like a beep 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 that repeats itself all over again. Let's write the code and see what's going on. I'm going to cover the buzzer a little bit because the noise is quite noisy. As we can see, it's very, very, very loud. Now, in order to stop the program, I'm just going to remove the turning on and I'm going to upload the code once again. And that's it. The buzzer will stop. Now, once we discussed about the buzzer, it's time to understand how can we connect it into a Raspberry Pi. Just a quick reminder, our buzzer right here have three pins as we've discussed earlier. One is the signal pin, the yellow one. The red one is VCC and the black one is GND. Now let's put the buzzer right here and take the breadboard to see from closer look how it's connected into a Raspberry Pi. Here we have the red pin which is the, the VCC. It's connected to 5 volt right here. Over here we have two more pins. The black one is the GND and the yellow one is the signal which is connected to GPIO number 26 right here. This is very, very straightforward. SR buzzer is an output device. It's very simple that we just send it an output signal in order to make a buzzing noise. Now, let's remember that we have two types of devices. One is an input and one is an output. As the buzzer is an output, we will learn how to send signal out, not to receive a signal in, for example, as an input device. Now, let's head over our IDE to understand how can we program and make it work with Python. Now we are at our IDE. As we can see, we have the buzzer right here. It's a real-time video. Now let's try to understand how can we take this buzzer, which is connected to a Raspberry Pi, and control it user Py using Python programming language. First, we will go to Sun Founder Sensor Kit folder. 
Inside the folder, we will look for something that called Active Buzzer, which is the sensor we are using right now. Now, let's do nano 10 Active Buzzer, 10 less than 10 Active Buzzer, in order to modify the file and take a look what's inside. First, we will import the RPI GPIO and the time library. The buzzer we set as pin number 26. In the setup, we send the GPIO set mode as GPIO BCM, and then we set up the buzzer pin as GPIO out. We set up the GPIO output as GPIO high, which means we turn off the buzzer. Then, to turn it on, we set GPIO low. To turn it off, we set GPIO high. Then, to beep, we turn it on, wait, off, wait. Now you might be wondering where does the weight come from? As we can see, we use the beep function right here and we give it 0.5 as x and then basically x is 0.5. We can decide different numbers such as 1. It doesn't have to be 0.5. But for our example, we're going to use 0.5, which is half a second. Another function we will use is destroy. As we can see here, we do try and accept. Once we try the loop, and if something happens, keyboard interruption, it will destroy. And in the destroy function, we set the buzzer off and we clean up the GPIO for next use. Now let's quit the software and try to run the program using the Python 10 active buzzer. Now the buzzer is very, very loud. So I'm going to just put my finger over it in order to cover the noise. As we can see, it works perfectly fine and it makes buzzing noise on and off. I hope you enjoyed the lesson and learned something new. I'll see you next time.